everyone. I have been waiting like five days to be able to do this video. I got myself some coffee from Pear Cup Works in Arizona. And I'm really excited about this coffee because it involves a process I've never had before called Termico Processing, uh, which means thermic processing, which means that there's heat involved in the processing method. I was waiting to open this because I kind of wanted to get a little bit of reaction in the video. Uh, let's do it. So, this coffee is from Costa Rica and it uses something called the Termico Processing. What does that mean? Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. If you think that I know all this shit at the top of my head, then you're mistaken. This is what it actually looks like when I make videos and teach. So I'm actually using a fact sheet that was given by the buyer that Pear got this coffee from, which is Genuine Origin, and we're gonna read this fact sheet together. This coffee's from Costa Rica, and the producer's name is Luis Eduardo Campos, and he owns a, a farm called Cordillera de Fuego. So about this thermic processing, the process starts by selecting the cherries when they're at their ripest, allowing them to have a high sugar content, sounds right, thus feeding the Thermico process. The semi-washed coffee is then heated with some of the coffee mucilage left on the bean. Cool. So semi-washed is another way of describing honey process. The mucilage is left on the coffee bean. The mucilage is like this permeable membrane that coats and surround itself around the green bean. Um, so you leave that mucilage on, it's like kind of slimy, and you dry it onto the coffee bean. What happens is all those acids and sugars in that mucilage kind of inform and influence the way the coffee bean tastes. So the really cool thing about this process of thermic processing is that you are heating up the coffee with the mucilage intact. Heat is the informant, the vehicle in which extraction occurs. So if we're introducing heat during a fermentation process where mucilage is left intact, that tells me that there are going to be, um, there's going to be more influence from the mucilage into the coffee bean itself. In other words, that heat is forcing the of the mucilage into the coffee bean. So it's probably going to taste a little bit more caramelized. There's going to be a little bit more intensity. Maybe there's going to be more pop. The exposure to heat starts to break down the natural sugars of the coffee cherries. So far, I'm partially caramelizing them. See? This inventive process gives the coffee an exceptionally sweet and fruity flavor as well as a round and balanced cup. I'm so excited. Let's just get started. So I'm using my Barata Encore. I'm probably going to grind this on a 12 today. This is a Bodum gooseneck kettle. I got this at Target for $25 when it first came out and I love this kettle. I've had it for years. This is a Time More scale. This is their Black Mirror scale. I really like this because it has a built-in timer. Asami mug. And I'm using my Origami Brewer today, but you can use any brewer you want because what makes coffee good is you, not the brewer. I'm gonna weigh my coffee in with this mug that my brother got me for Christmas. It's a New Jersey mug. I am a New Jersey native. I was born and raised in New Jersey. I'm gonna do a 20 gram in to 320 water out recipe today. 20 grams, 12, open, done. Begin. Smells like graham crackers and toasted marshmallow. It smells like s'mores almost. Red grape too. And coffee, it smells like coffee. Okay, let's begin. So let's try this. What's it smell like? It smells like craisins. There's like some grape stuff going on. Whoa. So the grape is consistently throughout the whole experience. I'm getting like grape jelly. You know like that bite that like jam gives you like raspberry preserve, strawberry preserve. So there's a certain kind of acidity with like jam that's like candy-like, but it kind of just like bites. It's like a fizziness, like an effervescence. This is so interesting. I definitely get the caramelized notes. It reminds me of like creme brulee, the top of creme brulee when you like cook it. It really helps to balance out like the sweetness of, and jamminess that I'm getting from this. The body's nice. It's not delicate, but it kind of reminds me of like um, black tea. 
I like this coffee a lot. Um, also, just like a big shout out to Pear Cup Works for their amazing customer service. They're now my friend on Instagram, so I feel like I'm part of a cool club. I am so excited to be following these people and I wish I could go to Arizona right now and shake their hands, but I can't because of COVID. So, buy their coffee. This is so nice. Uh, well, thank you for spending your time with me today and be on the lookout for some more things. I do have another box of this coffee, so maybe another video. Anyways, bye.